3 if a 3 if alpha and beta are the root of the equation this one form equation with the following roots so to form equation we must know is uh, what is the relation between sum of, sum of root and product of root so we have x square minus sum of root x plus product of root is equal to 0 this is how we form equations with uh, with the roots that we have okay so we we can find a alpha and beta from the equation that we have here so we have 2x square plus 6x minus 7 is equal to 0 so here to get sum of root and product of root the main thing that you have to remember that this one in front of x square must be 1 so we have 2 here we divide everything with 2 so we get x square plus 6 divided by 2 we get 3x negative 7 divided by 2 we get negative 7 over 2 which is equal to 0 so see here negative sum of root so sum of root is equal to negative 3 which is equal to sum of root we know that the root is alpha and beta so negative 3 is equal to alpha plus beta so product of root is equal to this one we have negative 7 over 2 so this one is negative 7 over 2 is equal to alpha times beta which is alpha beta So I write it here, alpha plus beta is equal to negative 3. Alpha beta is equal to negative 7 over 2. For A, so now we have this one as the root. To, to form equation, we must have sum of root and product of root. So sum of root is equal to, this one is 1 over 2 alpha plus 1. 1 over 2 beta plus 1. So to add up the 1 with fraction, we must make the denominator equal. So to make this, this one we have to multiply with 2 beta plus 1. And this one we need to multiply with 2 alpha plus 1. So here we have 2 beta plus 1 divided by... So we have the long one here where we can see that the denominator is the multiplication of this one and this one which is 2 alpha plus 1 times 2 beta plus 1 so this one plus 2 alpha plus 1 so here 2 beta plus 2 alpha so we see here 2 beta plus 2 alpha 1 plus 1 is 2 and this one we can expand 2 alpha times 2 beta we get 2 alpha beta 2 alpha times 1 so here come here and then 2 alpha times 1 we get 2 alpha <laughs> sorry 2 alpha 1 times 2 beta we get plus 2 beta and then 1 times 1 we get plus 1 so now you must think of how you can substitute the one that we have here inside this one so we see we have alpha and beta so 2 beta and 2 alpha can be combined so here we take out 2 alpha plus beta plus 2 so later on you can just substitute alpha plus beta so here this one is 4 alpha beta never mind we have alpha beta and then we have so what is this one this one is plus one sorry so alpha plus beta here plus 2 alpha plus beta plus 1 so all the unknowns here alpha plus beta and alpha beta you have here you can just substitute to get the answer so here 2 alpha plus beta is negative 3 plus 2 and this one here we have 4 alpha beta is negative 7 over 2 plus 2 alpha plus beta is negative 3 plus 1 so here you will get so this one you can just cut it to get 2 so up here 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 2 and here you have 2 times negative 7 which is negative 14 actually you can just write everything inside the calculator but i just want to make it short in the calculator so here plus 2 times negative 6 is negative 6 so plus negative 6 or just write in negative 6 plus 1 so here what, what we get is 4 over 4 over 19 so this one is 4 over 
19. So this is just the sum of root. We haven't finished yet. Okay, this one the sum of root is equal to 4 over 19. Product of root is the multiplication of the root. So here we have 1 over 2 alpha plus 1 times 1 over 2 beta plus 1 which is equal so multiplication so up here and up here 1 denominator and denominator 2 alpha plus 1 times 2 beta plus 1 so here we get 1 over 2 alpha times 2 beta we get 4 alpha beta 2 alpha times 1 we get 2 alpha so here 1 times 2 beta, we get 2 beta. And then 1 times 1, we get plus 1. So here we get 1 over 4 alpha beta. So the same we already did in, uh, to find sum of root 2. Alpha plus beta. So you see we can combine this one. Plus 1. Which is equal to 1 over 4. Alpha beta is negative 7 over 2 plus 2, alpha plus beta is negative 3, plus 1. So here, this one, we cut it. Okay, 1 divided by 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. This one is 2 times negative 3 is minus 6. And then we have 2 plus 1. So here, we get negative 1 over 19. Negative 1 over 19. Product of root is equal to negative 1 over 19. So, A x square minus sum of root x plus product of root is equal to 0. So, here x square minus sum of root is 4 over 19 x plus product of root is equal to negative 1 over 19 which is equal to 0. So, usually in general form, it is A x square, I uh, where to put it, A x square plus B x plus C is equal to 0. There's no fraction. So what we do is that we multiply everything with 19 so that we have to, we can remove the fraction. Times 19, times 19, times 19 here. So we get 19x square. This one and this one can be cut off. Minus 4x. Negative and positive become negative. This one can be cancelled. Minus 1 is equal to 0. So the answer is 19x square minus 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. B, we have 5a over beta, 5 alpha over beta. B, we have 5 alpha over beta, 5 beta over alpha. So sum of root is equal to, we add up these two, 5 alpha over beta plus 5 beta over alpha. So again, when we have fraction, we have to make sure that the de denominator is equal. So this one we need to multiply with alpha and this one we multiply with beta. So this one 5 alpha times alpha, we get 2 alpha square over. So now we have denominator is alpha and beta. We can just combine plus 5 beta square. So here we can Okay, so we see here we have alpha, beta. So, alpha, beta square. Okay, so you see here we have alpha, beta. Let me just write this one. So, we know that alpha plus beta square is equal to alpha square plus 2 alpha, beta plus beta square. Beta square. What we have here is alpha square and beta square and Lee. So, we can see that if you only want alpha square plus beta square, it is equal to alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta. So you see here, this is what we will do here. Where we have 5 here. So alpha square plus beta square divided by alpha beta. Which is equal to 5. So alpha square plus beta square. 
beta square divided by alpha beta. So here we have 5. Alpha square plus beta square here which is equal to alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta divided by is equal to 5. So here you see here alpha square plus beta square which is here is equal to alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta divided by alpha beta which is equal to Five. So alpha plus beta square. So alpha plus beta is negative three. So we have negative three square minus two. Alpha times beta is negative seven over two. So make sure that uh, your bracket is right and you put inside your calculator. Depend on what calculator you are using. So divided by alpha beta here. Alpha beta is negative seven over two. So this one you can cut off, which is equal to. Five times so here we have negative three square everything uh, everything which is square we will get positive value so three square is nine this one is minus 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 seven we get positive seven or you can just write minus minus seven and still get the same answer divided by negative seven over two so negative seven over two so here we get negative hundred sixty over seven negative 160 over 7. So for this one, sum of root is equal to negative 160 divided by 7. Product of root is equal to multiplication of these two roots. So 5 alpha divided by beta times 5 beta divided by alpha. So here we get 5 times 5 is 25 alpha beta divided by this one is alpha beta so we see here we can cut this one so product of root is equal to 25 so here we have product of root is equal to 25 so here we can make the equation because we have the sum of root and product of root x square minus sum of root is negative 160 divided by 7 x plus product of root is 25 which is equal to 0. So here we have x square plus 170, 160 divided by 7x plus 25 is equal to 0. So in general form we don't have fraction so we, you multiply everything with 7 and this one is 7 so here we cut off so 7x square plus 160x and 25 times 7, here we get 25 times 7. We have 175. 175 is equal to 0. See, sum of root is additional of these two root, which is alpha plus 3 beta plus 3 alpha plus beta is equal to alpha plus 3 alpha we get 4 alpha 4 beta plus beta 3 beta plus beta we get 4 beta so here we get 4 alpha plus beta which is equal to 4 alpha plus beta here we get negative 3 which is equal to negative 12 so here sum of root is equal to negative 12 okay Product of root is equal to, so we multiply this to alpha plus 3 beta times 3 alpha plus beta. So alpha times 3 alpha, we get 3 alpha square. Alpha times beta, we get alpha beta. 3 beta times 3 alpha, here we get 9 alpha beta. And 3 beta, 3 beta times B, we get 3 beta square so here we see here we can combine uh, this one 3 and 3 right so we just bring it together first plus 3 beta square 
plus this one is 9 alpha beta 1 alpha beta plus 9 alpha beta we get 10 alpha beta so the hit 3 alpha square plus beta square plus 10 alpha beta so this one just now you still remember never mind just write it back so alpha plus beta square is equal to alpha square plus 2 alpha beta plus beta square so you only want alpha and beta so alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta so in this case we have 3 this one alpha square plus beta square is equal to this one is alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta see here in the, this one the bracket plus 10 alpha beta now we can substitute 3 so alpha plus beta square alpha plus beta is negative 3 so we have negative 3 square minus 2 a alpha beta is negative 7 over 2 so here we can cut it okay close the bracket plus 10 alpha beta is equal to negative 7 over 2 so here we get 5 3 times so here negative 3 square is 9 negative times negative we get positive 7 so we close it back so 5 times negative 7 is negative 35 so here we get 13 which is equal to 13 sum of root is equal to negative 12 and product of root is equal to 13 x square minus sum of root x plus product of root is equal to 0. So here x square minus sum of root is negative 12 x plus product of root is 13 which is equal to 0. So x square negative negative become positive and then here we have 13 is equal to 0.